I am James Forbes and co-owner of the Menagerie Lounge. Menagerie Lounge is a collective of food, music, and art. We started off as a culinary hub for food entrepreneurs to come in and treat our space as if it was their restaurant for the night. And it was my husband's longtime dream to expand into a full service restaurant. I've been managing restaurants for 30 years. It's always been a lifelong dream of mine to run my own. Oh my God, I can't even count all the hats. I wear so many hats as an entrepreneur. Our original logo was uh, created by myself. My area of expertise is not in logo creation. You know, I was against changing the logo. However, I think that it's important to stay current. I know that other major companies have changed their logos in the past and I think that it was time for us to change ours as well. Working with designers at Vista Print made my already busy life so much easier because really it was just like, oh, provide me a couple of pictures and we'll do the rest. They were great. I mean, it's always helpful when you have a business owner that sort of knows exactly what they want. It has a feeling of energy to it, so I think any way that we could capture sort of the energy of the restaurant itself when it's really busy, the liveliness of the kitchen. I definitely feel that it ties into their existing brand, yet it definitely feels fresh and new. This new logo is just knocking it out of the park. It'll translate well onto t-shirts and uh, business cards and everything else, which is some of the things that I didn't think about in the original creation of our logo. I love working with Vista Print. It's easy for the, for the average person like myself who doesn't know a lot about design. It's very comprehensive, it's, it's very easy to maneuver, and I, I really appreciate that about Vista Print. My advice for the small business owner that wants to do updates to their brand is not to be afraid. I think that most small business owners, like myself, we're creatures of habit, so if it's not broke, don't fix it type of mentality, you know, especially since we're doing so many other things. I've learned that, you know, being an entrepreneur is not for the faint at heart. You have to love what you do and be passionate and diligent about it. You have to rely on faith. There's always a, a fire to put out. There's always a problem, there's always an issue but having faith and knowing that, okay, it's gonna be okay. I love being an entrepreneur. It's tough, but I love it. It's in me.